Okay, see Lindelof videos solving trig equations. This, actually, it's relatively easy, but it just looks really bad. So here we're asked to solve cosine 2x is equal to 0 on the interval, including 0 but not including 2 pi. So 0 to 2 pi, including 0 but not 2 pi. The first thing I'm going to do is this, just to make this a little bit simpler for myself, is I'm going to just do this bit of, it's called u substitution, but I use theta. So I'm going to say let theta equal 2x. And then I can rewrite this and say, okay, I have cosine theta equals 0. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I could actually show you this, but what I, I think what I'm actually going to do is just draw this out and say, okay, let this be the unit circle. And this is pi halves right here. You should be on the unit circle right now. This is pi halves right here. And cosine of pi halves is 0. So cosine pi halves equals 0. And if I go pi more, if I go pi from there, I end up at at 3 pi halves, right? And then if I go pi from there, I keep going back. So what I realize is this. Cosine theta is equal to 0 if theta is equal to pi halves plus pi n. Let n be any integer. Let n be any integer. So, so that gives me this basic solution, except for the fact that I know that my, two th my theta is actually equal to 2x. So I have to rewrite this. I have to solve for x. I have 2x is equal to pi halves plus pi n. Divide everything by 2 and get x is equal to pi fourths plus pi n halves. Now this is what I have to do. Now I have to just keep adding. I'm going to use values of n that keep me inside of this. So I'm going to interpret this piece up here, this piece right here, to me says x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 2 pi is the direct interpretation of that interval there. So I'm going to say, okay, what if n equals 0? Well, if n equals 0, then x is equal to pi force plus 0, isn't it? So I put in pi force here. I say, is pi force greater than or equal to 0? Yes, it is. Is it less than 2 pi? Yes, it is. So I say, okay, x, I'm going to start building my solution set is pi force. Then I'm going to just keep moving on. I'm going to do this over and over. So n is equal to 1. Well, x is equal to pi force plus pi halves. Remember that pi halves is the same as 2 pi force, isn't it? Because I want to have the same denominator. Equals 3 pi force, right? Put 3 pi force in here. Is 3 pi force greater than or equal to 0? Yes. Is it less than 2 pi? Yes. So 3 pi force is also in our solution set. And I'm going to keep doing that over and over and over. And I think I get 5 pi force next. And then I get 7 pi force, n equals 3, I get 7 pi force, n equals 4, I get 9 pi force. This is what I wanted to say. So this one fits, this one fits, right? I go back up here. These two definitely fit. So 5 pi force, 7 pi force. I think I'm done because remember it has to be less than 2 pi. So I'm just going to try that out. My value, potential value of x here is this. So I have 9 pi force force is greater than or equal to zero? Yes, that's true. Less than 2 pi? Not true. And therefore, my solution set only contains these values. All right, you guys, this is kind of hard, but you can definitely do it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.